you have a Ford Pinto, yes, they are very old now, or a Mercury Bobcat. Not the wagon. The wagon is not recalled. But all the other Pintos are recalled except the wagon. They are recalled for the fuel issue. Yeah, Ford should have done it way sooner. But Ford put out a recall for certain model Pintos and certain model Mercury Bobcat. And call your Ford dealer with your VIN number if you have one. They are awesome cars. Don't get me wrong. Yes, they blow up when they hit in the rear end. That's not good. But other than that, they're a very safe car. Look at the Chevy Vega. Look at all the other cars with fuel tanks in the rear end that blew up that went on notice. The thing was put on the Pinto as being a death trap. But look at all the other cars at that time. Other cars blown up too because... The Pinto ain't the only car at the fuel tank in that spot. Many cars back in the day have it. Matter of fact, your 90s Mustangs, 2000 Mustangs, the fuel tank is still behind the rear axle. Did you know that? So are your Camaros, so are your Corvettes. Most of your sports cars are still like that today and you didn't know it. So is the Jeep Grand Cherokee, certain models from 1990 to 2000s, even all the way up to 2010, 2015s, depending on what Jeep you got. The fuel tank is located behind the rear axle and is a fire risk just like the Pinto. But Ford is recalling it and changing the design in the rear. So this way your fuel tank is not dangerous anymore if your vehicle is one of the affected models with the recall. And that's good to Ford. What company digs back that long from cars from the 70s and up and recalls the 70s Pintos and Mercury Bobcats? Ford admitted they need to be fixed and that's why they're doing it i love ford yes ford has made mistakes over the years we all make mistakes even a business has a right to make mistakes but when they learn from their mistakes and don't do it again that's when you know they're a good com company now the person who made the pinto and knew about the flaw was designed no longer is in charge of Ford. The person who's in charge now cares about safety as a top priority with Ford, and I promise you they are. I know many family members who have gotten into very bad car wrecks with Fords and have made it. 65 mile an hour, and they smashed the car hard. And I mean smashed it where the engine was demolished. Walked out without a scratch airbags blew up windows blew out the rear end of the car you couldn't even tell what kind of car it was or the front end but the car did what it was supposed to do and took the impact sorry to get off topic but i just wanted to say fords are safe make sure to check the crash rate on any car you get some fords aren't safe but most of them are it depends what model you get check the on google where it says Google search, say, what is the crash rating on a such and such vehicle that you are getting? And it will tell you, if it's not a double five star, do not get it. They make cars a double five star crash rating. The Ford Taurus has a double five star crash rating. The Ford Windstar has a double five star crash rating. But don't get me wrong. If the Windstar axle is not fixed through recall, it's not a double five star because they can flip from the axle defect that they had in the late 90s and early 2000s but once you get that actual car fixed they're an awesome van and they won't give you no trouble after except the typical head gasket problems in the 3.8 and typical transmission problems in the 3.0 because the 3.0 tranny they use is for cars and it was supposed to be for the Windstar so that's why I highly recommend a 3.8 and just keep an eye on your head keep an eye on your coolant and along if you keep the three o the three eight up, it shouldn't blow a head gasket. But the three o is bulletproof, but the tranny is where the weak part is on those vans. That's why I suggest a three eight. They won't have tranny issues. And if you take care of that three eight, the head should not go. See you all in the next cool video. Shutter.